Hi, what is up my dudes? It's Ariel and today I'm gonna get right down to business. We are going to the thrift bins in New York City. They're actually kind of in Queens, I think. I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But the New York City thrift bins, the only ones that are like nearby New York City. It's like a 50 minute train ride. Anyways, two years ago was the last time I went and I did film a video and I'm curious to see what has changed because that was during COVID and I haven't been back since. I've been a little scared, a little intimidated, but I'm off today. I'm like, why not, you know? I pretty much have my bag packed. Sharing this cute little hysteric glamour crossbar. I have my keys, my photo clicker in case I want to take pictures, some mints because you know I always carry mints everywhere I go. Maybe you didn't know that but now you know. My book for the train and in case I end up having to wait because some of the reviews online said you have to wait. The bell jar. I've been reading this for way too long and it's really good. I just don't know why I can't finish it. I have this reusable tote that I'm gonna put the clothes in because I don't want to put them in my like nice bag. I have my tripod in case I want to take the pics and I think my lip liner in here. Little uh, hand sanitizer attached to my bag like a noob but yeah that is what we're gonna do today and I'm also gonna try something a little new a little different because I've realized the reason why people go so feral at the bins and there are people who camp out not camp out But like they'll stay there all day and just grab a bunch of stuff and they take it so seriously It's because I think a lot of people do that for fully a living They go to the bins and then they'll sell it to a lot of the consignment stores that are in New York or not even consignment But like curated thrift basically stores that will buy your used clothes and will give you money or like store credit So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see if anything that that I pick up they'll take and see if I guess that is worth it what they do because I'm honestly really intrigued by it it seems like a lot of work but I'm curious and frankly I don't need any new clothes I just enjoy thrifting so I think it'll be fun to see and I'll report back to you but I'll also show you everything I get obviously so I'm gonna go to thrift bins I'm gonna go to like a buffalo exchange or somewhere I don't know we'll figure it out and then I think I'm gonna get Chinese food I've been craving this place in Chinatown so I think I'll go there perhaps go to a cafe and do some work but I don't know if I want to carry my laptop or not so that one's up in the air and yeah right now it's 11 40 I wanted to leave at 11 so let's not waste any more time and go they opened at 9 so I don't want to be too late also I figured I'd show you the fit I have on the person you don't want to see at the thrift store fit <laughs> a Stussy little knit bucket hat juicy thermal it's pink and first time wearing these pants. They're like real tree wide leg low rise cargos from Revice denim. I got them on sale during Black Friday and they literally just came. Is that not insane? And then I already showed you my bag. I think I'm also gonna just wear my Sambas. I almost wore my mushroom fours, but then I thought of how chaotic it is and how sad I would be if someone just like stomped on my foot. So it's gonna be the Sambas for today. Let's go.
officially off the train in Queens. Honestly, not too bad of a trip at all. It is 2.45 and yeah, kind of late, later than I would have wanted, but what is truly the rush? Nothing. Also, I was originally wearing a jacket like a North Face and I ran back inside and <laughs> took it off. So far, I am confident in my decision. It's like pretty warm today, the warmest it's been in a while, but hopefully I don't live to regret it, so we'll see. Also, I went back and grabbed gloves because of course, here you gotta have the gloves. I think I forgot to mention mentioned that they are so strict in there they run it like the navy so i probably won't be able to film especially not on my camera but i'm gonna hide my phone and try to film some clips so yeah we will see also i love how quiet it is around here kind of nice i see it i'm not looking at but i know that it's right here because i see the crowds of people that look intimidating why am i nervous <laughs> never mind i'm actually stupid and dramatic i was just walking past a high school <laughs> and then i walked the wrong way but now i think i'm here somewhere i think this is it girl i'm lost how am i lost with like fully having directions now where am i going it says I'm here. It says arrived. Let's see. Dude, if it's close today, I'll actually... Hmm. Oh, I think we found it. All right, officially turning this off. Thank you. Thank you. so out of there it was good i stayed for like two bin rotations and yeah i think i got some good stuff two bags worth i did have to buy the second bag which sucked only because i have so many of those bags i could carry but uh let me do a mini haul let's see if we could do it i'm literally on some random street i put up my flimsy ass tripod and i really don't trust this tripod with my camera only really my phone but we're gonna try to speed run it hopefully this goes okay I got this little crop sweater. It was originally $6 at the regular thrift. I got this top, which is so cute. It's just uh, not my size. It's like a large, but it has big poofy sleeves and then little rosettes, which is so cute. And this was originally six bucks at the regular thrift before it came to the outlet. I'll tell you how much I spent in the end. I got this top, which I think they'll definitely buy at like a consignment shop or something. It is three people and it's pretty cool. It has these studs on it and it doesn't have the original tag from the thrift. I got this, which is so cute. If they don't buy it, I will totally gladly keep it. 
but it's this old navy, just like thick rib. Uh, that guy is my family. Thick shrimp butter, and it's like gator style. So cute. No tag on this one either. I got this skirt, which is kind of pretty. Made in Italy. It's just floral, and it's made of silk. So I feel like they'd buy this too. I got this tank top, which I would totally keep if it was my size, but it has really pretty lace trim on it. I got this, which is so cute, and I have a feeling they won't take it because it's stained. But it's this little kitty cat vintage shirt, and it has lettuce trim on all the hems. So cute, but it has like yellow stains and it's really not in the best condition. So maybe they won't take it and I'd gladly keep it. But maybe I'll just keep it anyway, honestly. I got this scarf. It's just like a really big paisley scarf. My mom really likes these. So if they don't take it, I'll just give it to my mom. I got this men's knit polo. Ah, don't fall, please. Uh, knit polo top. This is actually so scary. It's Paul Jones. I don't know if that's a good brand or anything. But it's really cool, actually. If I was a guy, I'd wear this. I got... Oh, shit. I thought I'd put this back. But this Red Hot Chili Peppers baby tee. I feel like they might not take this. But if they don't, I'm going to just cut the collar and then wear it myself. I got... This is so cute. I think I might keep this. It's like this Y2K looking v-neck polka dot blouse and it would look so cute with a little cami underneath and it ties in the back i love the blue and brown so cute this is also really cool not really my style necessarily but i might keep it if they don't buy it it has like floral almost needle point on the front and on the back it's also a nice velour material and it's true vintage super cool I got this scarf, which is just white fur. They might not take this because I guess it's becoming spring, but if they don't, I'd gladly keep it. There's so many ways I could style that. I got this top, which is so good, and I would keep it if it would fit me, but it's just like slinky cowl neck short sleeve top. And it's by Moda International, which is a brand I already really like, and I try to buy their stuff secondhand on like Poshmark or eBay or wherever. I got this. It's just a men's J. Crew flannel. I don't know. I think they'd buy it. It's like a popular brand i guess i don't know i got some accessories as well i think all that's left is mainly accessories this belt which is super cool it's woven and it has like these o-rings this super cute victorian style bag it's not really my style but i know that someone would absolutely love it and i found it like laying on the ground it's just so cute and detailed it has little rosettes and Another, someone just yelled at me from their car, I love that. Another woven belt, this one is like light brown. Oh, I do have a hoodie and a sweater. I got this super cute sweater. I would gladly keep this if they don't buy it, but it is just a v-neck, really pretty light lavender or like light pink color. And it has like ribbing on the bottom of the sleeves and on the bottom, very much ballet core. I got this little Hello Kitty Tokyo hoodie. It's so cute. I would gladly keep this if they don't buy it, but I don't need more hoodies, so, you know. This I'm kind of on the fence about because it's so cool. I think I'll just keep this. This little beanie with a skull on it. Just like goth, skater, grungy, like true 90s in my opinion. I think it might be kids. It has no like brand tag in it, but it's so cool. And then I got some accessories, which I'll show you now. The looks I'm getting are crazy, but honestly, fair. I found one foot of these boots. It's like a leather with white contrast stitch boot, and it has a nice square toe. It's vintage and a square heel. I found one of them, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to find the other one. But the way that the bins are set up, it's just a mess. So I spent like 10 minutes looking for the other pair, and I almost gave up, but I found it. I found the other foot. They're gorgeous. They're a size 11 as well. I'm a size 9, but I don't know. They have a heel, so I feel like maybe they will fit me. If they don't, then I'll give them up. But these are so gorgeous. Like, I'd look for these and buy these on eBay 100%. I bought these kind of on a whim. Just because I think that they will buy them. Because they're, like, brand new. And they're Nine West, which is a pretty good brand. <laughs> Stiletto Red Suede Boot. If they don't buy these, I will be asked out. I also got these, which are so good. I wish that they would fit me, but they're a size 38. And I'm a 39. I'm still going to try them on. But I, I really don't think they will but they're so cute they're by aldo so cute and then i got the super cool bag i have a lot of bags similar to it already but it's really fun to put patches on bags like these it's just like good quality it has like suede detailing it's in good condition only thing is this like wonky uh strap that's like sticking out but i think it's pretty cool and then i think this is the last thing yeah okay good this 
Oh my god, this little bow bag, it's vintage. So cutie pie. I don't need more purses, but like, so cute with little ballet spots. And yeah, that is my haul. Here's everything. Just beautifully placed on the ground. I wish I had a lint roller so I could like make them look more presentable. But I'm gonna fold them up and then I'm gonna bring them to either Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads and see what they take, see what they don't, and see how much they'll give. I'm holding out on you. I told you I would tell you the price at the end. So it was $42.02. This was for accessories like the shoes, $16.73, like the shoes in the bags. Then uh, $22.90 for all the clothes. And then I forgot got a couple bags at the bottom so about half and half for the clothes and then the accessories not too bad but yeah i'm also really tired and also ravenous i had two hard kombuchas last night and i kind of forgot that they are also kombucha and they mess with your gut so now my stomach is kind of on tilt but yeah anyways i will put this together and then do what i gotta do I don't really know how it'll work, so I'm not gonna film in there, but I will definitely give you an update. I just left. They bought about half of my stuff, and I got $122 in store credit, which I use, and I'll show you what I got when I get home. The only thing is now, like the only loss is like, what am I gonna do with the stuff that they didn't take? But I'd say like success. Now all that's left for me to do is go to the Chinese restaurant and that will be my day. No working at a cafe. I feel like it's too late for that. So I could probably do a bit once I'm home. But yeah, it's already like five and I'm ready to go home and I still am carrying like a ton of stuff, but I'm excited to eat. So that's good. Also, I haven't been in the area in a while, like Chinatown slash Soho-ish area, and I'm seeing literally the most beautiful and stylish people I have ever seen in my life, and it's just like one after the other after the other. I was like, damn, I don't remember it being like this, but also I just remembered that it's Fashion Week, which is basically irrelevant to me because my agent kind of ghosted me, shout out. So I haven't gone to any castings or anything, but um, I actually kind of hate Fashion Week because of how like sceney it is. I don't know. It just makes me feel bad seeing like all the events posted. Not that I even like care, but I guess I do care a little bit if it is annoying to me. Anyways, we're here. <gasps> no. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're closed after all that. Dude, just my luck. This is actually devastating. First one will be closed from Tuesday to Friday. No, I'm glad they're celebrating the new year though, but damn. Well, now what? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try to find somewhere else. The thing is, I'm a very specific person. I left thinking I would go there, so I wanted to go there. I actually know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get noodles and stuff, but bummer. Devastating, mate, devastating. All right. Delicious. Yeah, not much more to say. I'm so full and I have leftovers. And now I'm going home. It's like 6.30, but I can't believe I've only been out of the house for six hours and 30 minutes. It feels like it's been a lifetime. But yeah, I'm very excited to go home. See you there. And I'll do a haul of like final summary, everything I got. Okay. From the future. It's like four days later since I initially went thrifting. When I came home, I literally just did a face mask, showered, and went to sleep. I don't know, I just was not feeling like finishing this video then, so I'm doing it now. A couple days later, I did get extremely sick. Not extremely sick, but I got sick like two days after. Is it because I did not wear a jacket? Possibly. Possibly. But I'm like feeling better ish now. Let me give you the summary. First, I'll show you what they didn't take. I know in that clip I said they didn't take like half of the stuff, but I was just exaggerating honestly because they didn't take like maybe four or five things and I brought in at least 20 things. I think 24. I was trying to count, but I lost count. I want to say like 24. Anyways, they didn't take this little thing, which surprised me. They didn't take the Hello Kitty hoodie, but I'm actually pretty happy. It seems like cozy. It's definitely worn in, but I like that and definitely is gonna be my new like comfy hoodie, like house hoodie or like running out hoodie because I've gotten rid of a lot of my hoodies and sweatshirts that I use for that purpose and I'm now realizing damn like I do have hoodies and sweatshirts but none of them that I feel comfortable enough wearing and not really caring if they get dirty or get a stain or like whatever so that will be that and that one's actually cute but it's like I don't care about it that much you know what I mean. Next, which also surprised me, they didn't take this little sweater. And you may think I'm gross, but I did try on the sweater when I came home before I took a shower. Because I was like, whatever, I'm getting in the shower anyway. But they didn't take it. But I'm also happy about that because it fit me so well. I was actually surprised. I felt so snatched. I felt like, what do they say? Pilates mom or whatever. I felt snatched as hell. I would imagine that is what people feel like when they wear those Lululemon jackets. Jackets. Next, I decided to just keep this little brown polka dot top. I feel like I really should try these on because this also looked so good on. I was so shocked by it. It's super cute and I love the colors. I love the shade of blue. I love the polka dots. I just love this. I also decided to just keep this little kitty shirt. I don't know if they would have taken it anyway. I don't know if you could see the stains that I was talking about before. Honestly, I can't really see the stains that much. I see one here though. Yellowish stain. But uh, I don't care that much honestly as long as it's like actually clean once I wash it the stain doesn't come out I'll live so I didn't put that in there because I thought it would be so cute to keep and I tried it on and it is really cute I think it would look really good with baggy jeans because it has that perfect fit where it's the perfect amount of crop I also decided to keep this I feel like they would have taken it if I did want to sell it but I don't know I thought it was cool enough to keep I did try to sell this they did not take it which I'm fine with like I said before I think it'll be fun to style even though it's kind of getting to be too warm for it now but is it because I went out and I got sick and then the last two things that they did not take were the brown bow bag which I can't find right now for some reason and the paisley scarf I'm not gonna keep the paisley scarf I'm gonna give it to my mom if she wants it but the bow bag I really don't think I will wear myself so if someone wants it and wants to just like pay me for the shipping label I will send it to you DM me on my closet Instagram account first person who DMs me 
me will get it. Shipping will probably be like seven or eight bucks. And then I bought some stuff at Crossroads with the money that I got from selling my stuff in. I'd want to say they took like 18 of the stuff, like shoes, bags, clothes, and I got $122 in store credit, I want to say. I just used all of it then and got some stuff and I'm pretty happy with what I got and I'll show you in a sec. But if I were to take cash instead, they would have given me about $70. They do like 50% of what they're selling selling it for in store credit or you get like 30% of it in cash. So I was like, you know what? I found some cool enough stuff. Might as well just take the store credit. So let me show you. First, which I'm pretty excited for, I got this green jacket. It's such a pretty color green. It reminds me a lot of the Unif Moss jacket, which I actually do own, but I don't really like the way it fits on me. It fits really boxy, that jacket, but this one fits me perfectly. And I think it would be so cute with just like some low-rise jeans and a graphic tee underneath or even like a skirt. I just think it's super cute and it's perfect for spring. And I've also just been loving this specific shade of green. I have glasses that have the frames that color and it's literally a perfect match and I'm pretty obsessed with it. And I also got a city bag, but like a mini city in that same color green. So I don't know, I just really like that color. I think it looks good on me and I like to wear it. My favorite color has always been green and I particularly love that shade of green. Next, you might think this is silly, but I got three very similar things. I'll just show you. First, I got this Brandy Melville Thermal. Oh, I forgot to say. The jacket was 30 bucks. This is 15. Super soft. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a black and white striped thermal. I love black and white stripes. I love thermals. Like, it was the obvious choice. That would also look really good with baggy jeans and like a beanie, like that skull beanie that I literally thrifted then. Or basically anything. I don't know. That's just my vibe. I saw it and I was like, come on. And it's super soft and comfy and it's something I could wear around the house, something I could wear to work. I could just throw it on. I have another Brandy Melville Thermal. Oh, yeah, it's literally right here on top of my pile of clothes because I wear it that much. And it's not even that I like the graphic that much, but it's just good quality. It's comfy and it's easy to throw on. And I know that I will wear this striped one because I like it a lot more. But here's where things get a little silly <laughs> because I got another Brandy Melville top that is also black and white striped but this one is fitted this was also 15 i feel like the same person probably bought both of these in i don't know that's literally the same exact thing but thinner stripes and it's a fitted top i like the way that this top fits a lot i have a similar one but thicker stripes and they're black and navy but i cannot find it for the life of me and for some reason it left quite a hole in my wardrobe i reach for it to wear it pretty often and it frustrates me that i can't find it so i feel like this one will be the replacement. I also hate that they're like $22 at Brandy or at least like 20 even though 15 isn't much cheaper but technically I didn't really pay $15 for it because I didn't spend any money other than the $40 I spent at the thrift bins so it's like worth. It's like basically if I were to find it at the thrift bins. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next. I'm just silly. I'm just silly. I got another black and white striped thing. These are all like black and cream stripe, not really black and white. But anyways, this one is vertical stripes. It's a helmet lang sweater. It's super cool. If you look up close, it has almost a mohair type texture and it's kind of long. I tried it on with just tights, like sheer tights. And I bought a pair of creepers a couple weeks ago. I'll show you them just for kicks. I finally got my hands on a pair of like classic TUK creepers patent leather shoes which are awesome and make me feel like I'm back in 2012 like I would have died for those shoes when I was in middle school it's very uh full circle that I bought them I'm like really excited to style them and anyways I tried on this sweater with just sheer tights and those creepers and it looked so cute it gave me tumblr like that photo of white kids lined up wearing American apparel like that tumblr picture you know the one it gave me that vibe <laughs> and I actually lived for that. It also looked really good with jeans. I tried it on with the real tree pants I was wearing. It looked cool. I just feel like there's a lot of ways I could style this. It was also an amazing price. 32. Helmet Lang. Come on. And I like that it's not just straight up stripes. It's like a little bit wavy. Also gives me kind of a zebra print type of vibe, which I'm not mad at. And then lastly, I was 
was a little questionable about these, but I got them because I was like, honestly, why not? They're my size. Actually, maybe they're a bit big. <laughs> they're marked as a men's nine and a half, but I feel like they're not. I feel like they were a woman's nine and a half, but I don't know. They fit me, but they're a little big, so maybe they are a men's nine and a half. I'm a woman's nine and a half. They're basically brand new. The soles look new. They have a little bit of staining on the toe, but like barely, and then they just have green stripes. They're Sambas, and yeah, they were 42, so I was like, well, why not? What's not to like? I wear my black and white Sambas so much just because they're easy to slip on and they match with everything, but now I was wearing them the other day and I looked down at my feet and I was like, these just look bad. I need to retire them soon probably, but I don't want to buy another pair of the same shoe. I feel like the sole will literally have to be falling off for me to buy another pair, but I did also thrift my black and white Sambas before they were trendy, even though that sounds so annoying to say, but before they were trendy, I was just like, well, these are sneakers, they're my size, they'll probably match with everything, might as well pick them up. And then they became trendy and then I started wearing them so much, but whatever, that's very much besides the point. I got a pair of Sambas, green, white, cream, whatever. I really didn't need Need them because I have the Margello replica sneaker which look like a German army trainer which is basically what that is and they're cream and white but the thing is I just don't wear them as often because one they're not as comfortable as an Adidas Samba they're a lot more stiff and two I care about them I spent a good amount of money on them so I won't wear them if I think that they're gonna get beat up or weathered so I was like okay but then I also did get the Wales Bonner Adidas Samba that are cream white and burgundy so did I really need these no but I don't know I still think I'm gonna wear them a ton what I think will differentiate them is that I ordered a spool of light pink ribbon that I'm gonna switch out the laces for and I think that'll be really cute like a pink and green moment I really like those colors especially together so I feel like that little detail will make me wear them so much more but yeah I was kind of torn like do I just take the 70 bucks and I would profit like what $30 or do I get what I picked up? But I feel like what I picked up was more worth it than the $70, but you can be the ultimate judge. Oh, I also forgot to say, I obviously kept those black contrast stitch boots as well. Very excited to wear those. They did fit me. They're a little big, but they're comfortable. I just never wear heeled shoes because I'm already so tall, but I think that that's gonna change because I've been getting a couple pairs of heels here and there that I think are really cool and I'm excited to wear. So yeah, anyways, that, that's it. It. That's it. Thank you so much for coming along with me. This was really fun to make. Honestly, since I went and filmed this video, I've been wanting to go back to the bins because it was a lot chiller than I remember it being last time. I think one, because I went on a weekend day last time I went and this day I went on like a Thursday. Also just because COVID was in full force when I went last time and now it's like Okay, so it was honestly really chill and I feel like I made out like a damn bandit. If you want to consider the fact that I spent $40 all together, I got a helmet laying sweater, I got boots, I got sneakers, I got a hoodie, I got a little blazer jacket. Not too bad. I did put way too much chili oil on my noodles. <laughs> I was watching the clip back and I was like, no! They were so spicy, but I did still eat the leftovers that same night. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching watching. If you enjoyed this and would want to see another video like this next time I go, let me know. Otherwise, I probably just won't film next time I go, which would be understandable because it would probably be a very similar video, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you want to see another one. I'm very excited about my new pickup, and I'm glad, I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we had this moment. I was hesitant to go out first, but I went, and I'm happy I went, and it paid off. That's what I will leave you with. If you have a great morning or night or whatever you're having and I will catch you in the next video hopefully very soon. Peace and love. Take care and laters. Bye.